Hello everyone, I am Oracle Unicorn and this is Leo's Weekly Reading. Alright? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes. This is Leo's Weekly Reading and I am going to go for my... I, I call it my mom and pa deck because half of it came from my mom, the other half came from uh, my dad. So, but it's Unicorn's... Or, uh, Unicorn's Oracle, I think. And then trust your own vibe stuff. And the unicorn ones came from my dad, and the trust your own vibes came from my mom. So, um, if you don't mind, please liking, subscribing, and sharing on Facebook. That would be greatly appreciated. So, what kind of messages can we get for our dear Leos? And if you um, message me on my uh, Facebook page, Oracle Unicorn. Um, I do personal readings, so just message me over there and we'll um, touch bases about personal readings. And on top of that, let's see. What other messages can we get for Leo? I think that's it. Oh, and if you would like to donate to my channel, the information for that is below. <laughs> But, yeah, if you want personal readings, I do personal readings, and just message me on my Facebook page, Oracle Unicorn, and we will set it up. I do um, live uh, FaceTime, basically, like live readings one-on-one -on -one with you. So it's not pre-recorded. Um, if you want to do it over the phone, we can do it over the phone, but I like to do FaceTime. It makes it easier to be able to really get the person's energy. So, yeah. All right. Leo, 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 Leo. Okay, I am feeling the rabbit hole deck for you, Leo. Alright, what kind of messages can we get for our dear... I don't know. This is not feeling right. You get the fairies. Alright, for our dear Leos. What kind of messages can you get us for our dear Leos? What would you like to uh, tell us about our dear Leos? Listen to your true feelings. Get grounded. Try something new. Okay. All right, Leo. That's interesting. How your reading totally ended up completely different than everyone else's. I guess it's because you like to shine. You're just like, oh yeah, I got more fairies. Look at that. <laughs> All right, Leo. So let's see here. I'm going to be using quite a bit of. Okay. So first of all, you have listen to your true feelings. Don't let others talk you into doing something you know is wrong. So you're allowing yourself to rise up out of your own shadow. So I feel kind of like this. Yeah. You're allowing yourself to rise up out of your own shadows, out of the own depths of your own darkness, and seeing complete clarity of all like the illusions, um, seeing clarity of everything that has held you back from seeing truth, okay? And yes, what you're asking about is the truth. So you're seeing it definitely clearly. Um, and you're allowing yourself to be able to be grounded within this truth, okay? And what you're, you feel inside within your heart is your own emotional truth, okay? And you're grounding that. You're grounding that very deep so that nothing can detour you away from it or allow people to be able to pull you away from it, okay? and uh, clarifying this is the iris of the rainbows so you're having extreme beautiful luck the universe has your back in all of this all of your guides have your back in this okay and they're helping you to root this very deep too and allowing yourself to grow into a mentor like uh, shine so that you have full complete confidence in your self enlightenment and your self awareness and alignment with everything that you 
feel to believe that you uh, see to be true everything inside is coming into full alignment with yourself to make you more of a better role model okay with I feel certain kind of like passion drive that you have that will allow and help others into teaching them about themselves and you have also try something new with the future fairy so try something new that's going to help you to really level up and stay more grounded within your future okay and listening to the whispers of your healer guides okay listening to the whispers of nature and being able to really see more and open yourself up more to nature's um messages that they have for you and the comfort that they give you okay that's what i really feel with that and really bef befriending and jumping into your full like on like flair of your passion and letting go of friends people everything that no longer serves you and that hold you back okay leo and you are also uh because this is the 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 bright mother so you are also seeing the the um the the true faces behind certain people that you have befriended okay you're seeing the truth behind them you're you're seeing beyond the 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 hidden aspects of what you were led to you were you were led to believe and what was being like sh like uh trying to pull you into feeling as if it's true you are ripping the illusions of all that off and you're letting go and you're walking away from all of it and being able to see the willpower and the transformation change of everything that you have like wish to be able to be cut out of your life okay you are transforming into that and being able to see the beautiful the beautiful gem that you have inside of you that has the strength to be able to you know walk away from everything that has held you back for so long okay and you are um allowing people to be able to help lift you out of this you are understanding it is a team effort and a lot of like support that helps you to really rise you to the next level okay you are taking off your own mask by being able to talk about your own feelings and your own um experiences and what happened with you okay and um, you're allowing yourself to play more as you take one step at a time towards your bigger dream and being able to see how much control you have to being able to create your dream. And that's the face that I feel, the, the mask that I feel you're taking off of yourself and being able to even see past your own illusions that you had imprinted upon yourself, okay? And it's it's growing a beautiful, amazing harvest for you, so that you can really uplift your own self into the higher level of like transformation that you were really working towards. That you had a huge idea of, and um, being able to really wanting to speak out your own truth. Okay and to emanate an extreme amount of light on a whole nother level um and really being and um becoming one with the uh fiery soulless energy inside of you and um seeing the enlightenment within you and being able to really rise as a like a divine aligned uh masculine I feel this is a, a big message for masculines and if it's for if you are feminine watching this and you are a Leo um, it's to it's honing in and being aligned with your own masculine within yourself that feminine and masculine balance within yourself is why I would feel this uh, solace is here and happy Friday the 13th because you all are the only ones that got the 13th number card so go you Leo don't you get to shine on that. <laughs> all Leo right there. Just so all Leo right there. Okay. Let's get some messages from the moon. What kind of, what kind of messages do you have for our dear Leos? Nothing is yet set in stone. Okay. 
So if you're going through a hard trial right now and thinking this is all that is left for you in your life, no, none of this is set in stone. And it's time for you to give and release your emotions rather than to, um, to constantly take from other people, okay? It's time for you to give back. It's time for you to really rise up to your own true power, okay? Nothing, and especially when it comes to your emotional waters. And here you have this, okay? And the answers you need are coming. They are coming into balance for you. Just listen to your guides and your intuition, what is being called and pulling you to bring more love into the situation, not only just for you, but for those that have really helped you out of this extreme hold that you have been on, okay? All right, and now time for the winged enchantment cards. All right, kind of messages spirits of the air do you have for our dear Leos? Leos. What kind of message do you have for our dear Leos? Wow, you have Robin. This is divinely like orchestrated. This was so divinely orchestrated because it's 29 which breaks down into 11 which also can be like a, a twin a twin like forever like abundance happening for you that is so like the universe is orchestrating this for you so much abundance is coming out of this and uh, a reunion of some sort 29 i am robin the song of renewal i am re I am recurrence and eternity. I am the promise that life will keep spinning. I am ancient, bringing forth the spring from the deep chill of water. You are e expecting me as I reassure you that the ice is thawing. You, your own winter must have its spring. It is time to align and know... <laughs> and know which season you're in. It is time to rejuvenate, time to awaken. The hibernation of your talent and dreams has no place in my medicine. I am cleansing like the, like the rain. I am flowing forward like the river. I am your wake up call at sunrise. Keep your world going no matter how thick the ice has formed. Something needs tending. You are the caretaker of your own soul. You are your own change. Renew yourself and rejoice. You are new beginnings. You are invigorating. You are upward growth. You are Robin. Oh, that's so beautiful. If you like the way I read, please like, subscribe, and share on Facebook. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to donate, the link for that is below. And if you would like a personal reading, just message me on my Facebook page, Oracle Unicorn. Thank you all so much, Leos, and I will see you all next week. Unicorn out. Bye.